there are three cars coming out in 2024 that I am super duper excited about. Let's talk about them. The new 2024 Toyota Prius. Oh my goodness. This car, this car, this is something special y'all. So for starters, I think Toyota has knocked it out of the park with this completely overhaul redesign on the Prius. I mean, just looking at this bad boy, it's got like that Lambo feeling to it, just the whole front end of it. I am I am stupidly excited for this car. I love the whole design element, the lines, the aesthetics. I just think Toyota has really knocked this one out of the park, y'all. I love the sleek interior, the brand new hyper powertrain. I mean, just look at this thing. I mean, this looks like I'm in the daggum Batmobile or something. And the miles per gallon on this hybrid is gonna go anywhere between 53 and 51 for both city and highway miles. Not to include some of the models can go up to 57 for the Prius. So to get into one of these models, the LE will probably start you off right around 27,000 and change and the models can go all the way up into the mid high 30s depending on how many bells and whistles you want on it. But again, this one, super high on my list. Number two on my list is the Honda CRV. This car is already super popular in the States, but it's gonna get even more popular with this new redesign. It has a very fuel efficient 1.5 liter four cylinder. It's gonna get you anywhere between 28 to 32 miles per gallon city and highway. Not to mention that Sports L trim that Honda's coming out with this model. Man, this thing is a sweet looking ride. You can get into the Honda CRV right around 29,500, and depending on bells and whistles and models, or if you want to go with a hybrid engine, it could be anywhere in the mid 30s, starting around 33,500. Coming in at number three, my absolute favorite, this complete redesign of the Lexus GX 550 is just straight up bad. For you mama bears out there, imagine pulling up in the carpool lane in this bad boy. <laughs> this, is, this is a good looking ride. One of the biggest changes will be the interior. They have made some major modifications in the GX, but also they're going from a V8, which was questionable to a lot of purists out there who love the GX models. They are going to a turbocharged V6 engine, and you're only gonna see about a one mile per hour gallon difference with that change in the engine. If you're looking for that subtle balance in both luxury and utility, this car gives you a lot of wonderful luxury interior features, smooth ride, as well as 349 horsepower. Now, I'd be quite remiss if I didn't mention this. I'm also excited about the Toyota Land Cruiser. I mean, this thing is super sharp. It's beautiful. And if you're not trying to spend over 60, 70,000 on a Lexus GX, the Land Cruiser is going to start in the mid 50s as opposed to the 60, 70,000 range if you're trying to get into a model like this. Major difference in the Land Cruiser as opposed to the GX is you will actually have a four cylinder, but Brett, not again. It's a 2.4 liter, and you're going to still see about 326 horsepower in this bad boy. But man, the cabin is just as beautiful and luxurious as the LX. Not to mention, the GX might be about three inches longer. You may or may not feel that, but what you will definitely see with the Land Cruiser outside of the GX is you're gonna see about two inches of a higher ground clearance in this vehicle. Well, there you have it. There are my top three, well, I should say top four favorite cars coming out in 2024. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about these models. Do you have another car that you're super excited about? Let me know. Love to talk cars with you guys. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.